Has my bra been out the entire time? Please don't ask what happened. They might as well have worn nothing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another cooking video and I'm so excited about this one. Are my boobies hanging out? Very quickly, if you guys have already seen the title of today's video, it is about to be that ooey, that gooey, that explosive inside of the chest. I literally matched this dress. It is way too short. I cannot wear this out. It's a thotty thought dress, but I matched it so I could match the cheese corn dogs. Don't I look like a Korean cheese corn dog? Essentially today, Today we are going to be making the most popular mukbang ASMR Korean street food just cheese dogs. If you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much a corn dog but without the sausage, insert mozzarella cheese, but also the batter is different. It's a little bit crispier, it's not as doughy, it's a little bit more just textury, it's smothered in just sugar on the outside with some spicy ketchup and I'm getting turned on, so we're just gonna jump right into the video. Like I do in all of my cooking videos, all of the instructions and the step-by-step -step ingredients, all of that is gonna be linked in the description, but first bit, you're gonna need an entire bag of string cheese or stick cheese, <laughs> cheese sticks, so I got mozzarella, mainly it's mozzarella, but. For for some reason, I have some leftover cheddar ones and I never saw an orange cheese pull come out of the cheese dog, so your girl is feeling a little bit adventurous, so we're gonna try both. Now with these, the, this is the first step to the recipe. You're gonna need some thick, long wood, long bamboo sticks, and then we're gonna skewer the cheese right now. That's the first, okay? Okay, so the first, Step is to not kill your cheese. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna need is your string cheese. I'm about to make a batch of, I think this is gonna be, wow, Stephanie, you're gonna be great, mom. You're gonna be great at math. Okay, this is gonna be eight cheese sticks. So we have six mozzarella and then two of the cheddar ones that I'm testing out for the very first time. I don't know if people didn't do this for a reason because maybe it doesn't turn out well, but stuff. And then you're gonna need your little bamboo skewers. Yes, this. Wait, let me just think about this real quick. Let me just use my knocker before I start throwing shit in everywhere. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the shorter ones and then end up cutting. Ooh, no, I think I'm gonna go with the thicker ones and then end up cutting those. Let's see if I can even cut it. Your ex-boyfriend, your new boyfriend. Okay, sorry. Okay, so grab a bunch of sticks, one for each cheese stick, and we're gonna skewer them. So as we were gonna go get the cheese at Whole Foods, we were walking downstairs. And we get into the elevator. This is so embarrassing. We get into the, I don't know who this is embarrassing for. Probably me or my fiance, I'm not sure. So we get into the elevator and we have a pool level that's underneath, like on the fifth floor. And it stops at the fifth floor and it opens. Now in comes, I wash my hands. Oh no, oh no, the stick. Oh no, okay. Maybe like to here because it needs to fit in. Because this is the deep fryer for today. Was that the plan? Not really, but is that what's happening? Absolutely. Okay, so it does fit in there. I'm just gonna cut the sticks to this length now. This will be my frame of reference. So we get into the elevator to go down to Whole Foods and it opens on the pool level where all the other amenities are and in come these two girls. Now my fiance and I are in the middle of a conversation in the elevator, just us two. And he just, he's like the type of person that doesn't specifically look at you while he's talking to you especially in a place like an elevator like he doesn't feel the need to make such strong eye contact unless he's sitting across from you at dinner or something like that and so he's just kind of looking around at the floor looking up looking at me looking at the elevator numbers going down and it opens now in come these two girls and when I tell you they might as well have worn nothing I'm telling you they might as well worn nothing like they were wearing like the V thong shaped bikinis <laughs> and like her boobs were all out and I could see the top of her nipple and you know what I'm not even mad about it I am not one of those girlfriends that's like don't don't look how dare you wear those clothes around my fiance the stick broke and so my fiance and i we've gotten into a fight before about how he just kind of wanders off his eyes and looks at girls and i don't even think that he does it on purpose it's just he has like not a wandering eye because that makes him sound really bad but just like he doesn't have like a focal point like he doesn't just they're directly in front of him at all times like most guys and it's not the fact that he's like oh I want to get with this girl that's why he looks he's just look at me trying to defend myself okay and my fiance but anyways in come they and <laughs> in their boobies came into the elevator they were huge they were massive I mean like one of the girl's boobs like one of her boobs just one the left one was bigger than my entire head 
Like, and I got a big ass head, so it was just ginormous, and it was out, and I was staring. I was staring to the point where even if he stared, I probably wouldn't have noticed because I was staring. And so this is where I died. The guy who never makes eye contact with me suddenly decides that right now is the time he said not to date this. And so he looks, he literally pivots his body directly towards me as we're standing in the elevator. And he goes, yeah, honey, so about Korea, what do you think we should do while we're, where we go? while we're in Korea and he kept literally forgetting what he was saying he refused to look at the two girls he did everything in his power like he was going out of his way to make sure that I knew that he wasn't looking at those boobs and I just died laughing they ended up getting out of the elevator because they were actually supposed to go up not down so they got into the wrong elevator lift but then he he was just like acting like nothing happened and I cracked up I could not contain myself don't you think like that's cuter though because I was like I mean, if you would have looked, I probably wouldn't have been mad. This cheese part, really handsy. Did anyone care for this story? Probably not. But you know what? Here it is, bitch. I needed you to know what I did to get this cheese today. What my fiance went through. The biggest test of every man's life, okay? Will he look at the boobs or not? <laughs> I've got sticks everywhere on the ground right now. They've been flying out. This might be hazardous, but keep going. Don't stop. That one's good. Only three more left. My hands feel real cheesy right now. What's your favorite cheese? Leave it in the comments. I used to love feta cheese for the longest time. I like any weird cheese. Like I love goat cheese. I love soft cheeses. But these days, I mean good old parm and mozzarella and cheddar be getting to me. Okay, so now that you have all of your cheeses stick to perfection, Miss, you're gonna get some all-purpose flour. You're also gonna use this flour for the batter, but you're gonna use it right now for the cheese and just cut a little hole because I just moved so I didn't have any flour left over. And Ooh, that wasn't... And then you're just going to want to get like a measuring spoon and kind of dust your cheeses. Not too much, but just dust them a little bit. So I'm going to move all of the sticks to one side and then get a little bit of a duster and just kind of roll it around, you know, lightly dusted. Can y'all see this? Like lightly dusted in the fine white powder that is completely legal. <laughs> Who am I talking to right now? Okay, and then just shake it off. Just like Taylor Swift did. Do you see this dusting action going on? Lightly. I feel like I don't know how to lightly do anything, so these might be overly dusted. I hate when recipes say, like, a pinch, a light dust, salt as needed. What does that mean? Once you do this, you need to pop it in the freezer because the key ingredient, like, all of this is important. These steps are important, but the main thing, the two main things, actually, I keep adding on to the list, is that you need to keep all of your ingredients cold, bis. Cold like your ex-boyfriend cold. I'm talking your cheese needs to be cold. Your batter needs to be cold. Everything needs to be cold except your frying oil needs to be at exactly like, I don't know, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I even have like an oil measure for this recipe. I'm taking this really seriously, okay? Koreans take their corn cheese thugs really seriously. So now you're gonna need a giant mixing bowl and we're gonna mix together the batter ingredients, which is about, I okay, so this is the recipe for eight cheese sticks, but I'm gonna make for two because I'm gonna be battering up some more later on so I'm just gonna make extra batter and I'm gonna use two cups of this all-purpose flour Ooh. okay get into cup base okay there's one I feel like in all the olden day sitcoms people would just like sneeze into bags of flour in the kitchen and it's all cute and shit but in reality that's like my biggest nightmare. Two cups, boom, bam, right there, shabam. Thank you, ma'am. Now you're gonna need about four tablespoons of baking powder, which is about, wait, four tablespoons, two tables, four tablespoons is a fourth cup, I think. Let's hope so, because then I would be ruining everything. Oh, okay, just guesstimate. Guesstimating is your friend. So a fourth cup of baking powder. Are you powder? Okay, yes, she is. And you're also gonna need the same amount of sugar, so I'm just using organic cane sugar and add in a fourth cup of that. There we go. And then the tiniest bit of salt. Okay, now we're gonna whisk. Has my bra been out the entire time? Now you're just gonna 
make a little bit of a well inside of here, just like a little opening. And then you're gonna do a one and a half cups of milk into the middle and two eggs, break it into it. So this is one cup. We have a half cup. And then we're gonna break two eggs. Suddenly you guys can see all of my mess in full view. We'll clean that. Okay, that just plopped in there. That was not a pleasant sound. It was a plopping sound, bitch. Can you do it with one arm or one hand? I'm not gonna try it. I'm gonna do both. Let's be safe. Even then, almost died. Now here is the fun part. You just wanna mix everything until it's smooth. I'm always nervous every time I add wet ingredients in. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I tried to make this at my sister's place and I forgot what happened. Oh, that was the day the Smeg toaster lit on fire. That was a wild day. If you guys haven't watched that story on my main channel, I predicted the Smeg toaster. How specific is that? Before I went to Atlanta to visit my family, I, <gasps> a blimp, a blimp, honey. It's a blimp. So now that the batter is smooth, this is where it gets really specific. If you guys had beer glasses, that would be the perfect place. But since I don't, I'm gonna be putting the batter into two different types of batches and you just need long skinny cups because what's gonna happen is you're gonna stick the batter in here and then you're gonna stick the cheese into the batter like this. And this one's a little bit wet, which I need to get rid of. And now we're going to divide the batter. Okay, let's do it this way so you guys can see. And then you see me make the biggest mess. Just like that. And stick them in the fridge because what did I say, bitch? So pertinent to keep all of your ingredients super mother freaking cold. So now while all of that is in the fridge and the freezer, so keep the batter in the fridge, the cheese sticks covered in flour, pff, there is hair everywhere. Inside the freezer, you're gonna heat up your oil. So I'm just gonna assume that most of you guys don't have a deep fryer unless you do, just like my sister's house does. Then use your deep fryer. You can set the temperature through there. If not, you're gonna need a deep heavy pot like the pink one that I have right there you're also gonna need some oil I wanted to get vegetable oil but they only had canola oil at the Whole Foods and then also you're gonna need an oil thermometer so I literally just started getting mine this one does candy and deep frying so it's not a pleasant sound keep this because you're gonna want to put the oil back into this so please don't ask what happened. I'm already slowly starting to get a bad feeling about this recipe, but the show must go on. It's too late to back out now. My fiance is all hands on deck. We've got the oil going. Let's grab out these <laughs> freezer cheese. Here we go, here we go. Are you ready for the first one? So now you just wanna stick the cheese in this way. Okay, my fiance took over battering. You put it in the batter, now you throw it into the panko. While they're really skinny, don't know what's going on here. It's not the picture that I imagined. Now we just grab a pair of tongs. Just make sure it doesn't fall to the ground. So we're still in the process. This one I just took out. These are hanging in there, different stages. Keep it at 350. We had to kind of turn up the heat a little bit because we kept, okay, now we can turn down a little bit. And so these are the first two that we did. This is the one that I took a bite out of. I just rolled both in some sugar. This one, I mean, she looks kind of busted. Oh, I hear more sizzling. Okay, this one's a beautiful golden brown. Look at this one. Now keep flipping them. She's a little lopsided, but that's okay. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> so I just kind of grab it by the end and lift it up so that slowly it'll start to float. I don't really like it at the bottom because I have no idea if it's gonna get crazy burnt. And this one's about done. So we can throw her onto this plate now. There we go. So as he's finishing up the rest, I'm gonna go sugarcoat these. And we're finished. This is the first cooking video I've done in this new place. So now I just have some of this spicy ketchup that I'm obsessed with. It's the Sir Kensington brand. And here you go, sir. Oh, you want that one? Okay, yeah. go without the ketchup. <laughs> I love the ketchup on this, so. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Mm. Oh my God. This is really good. Wow. 
How does it compare to the ones that we buy? Am I biased if I say this is better than those? <laughs> yeah, you're so biased. Everyone's like, it don't look better, but it don't look better. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. But it's good because I feel like the batter is lighter on this one. It's fluffy. more fluffy. Yeah, fluffy. Uh -huh. That's why I like it better. Mm. You know how in the fridge it kind of exploded? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what happened. It got super fluffy. Wow. No, I like this more. Seriously. This is so good. <gasps> you guys have to make this. Actually, the deep frying process was so easy. Oh yeah. Might be easier than using a deep fryer. Mm -hmm. Remember when we tried to use the deep fryer at my sister's? It was hard for some reason. Yeah. This one was. Oh. Oh my god. I think we did it, sir. Insane! Oh my God. Honestly, that was a pretty easy video for something that I thought that was gonna just take all day, all of my strength, all of the craziness into this video. But you know what, Biz? It was gooey, it was chewy, it was fluffy, the batter was sweet, it was salty, it's spicy with the ketchup. Honestly, Bang it. This really, really was good. so good. I'm gonna save these because I'm gonna I'll probably eat this right after the video while I'm editing, but this is so good. Make sure to check the description to see all of the ingredients that go into it, how to do it. It's pretty easy. I would just say maybe have someone to help you because the speed at which you have to batter and then fry and then sugar coat isn't like something that I would probably do alone, but it wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard, I could have done but that it's more fun with friends. So go make this for your business, guys. It's so good. I Can I say that about myself? She's so good on what I'm... Okay, sorry. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it in the comments what you guys think of this recipe. Are you guys going to make it? Are you not going to make it? Do you think it's worth buying it or just making it yourself? Leave it in the comments. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!